And it's been nearly three weeks since physical distancing measures have been put in place, closing off businesses to the public. Now, during that time, one local restaurant has experienced an increase in break-ins. The restaurant owner says he believes less people being out on the streets has made his restaurant a target for this type of crime. In the last two weeks, Pablo Velasquez says his restaurant, the Flatiron Pub on Wellington Street East, has been broken into four times. As you can imagine it's uh, very stressful. Velasquez says in comparison last year, his pub was broken into twice. He says he believes with less people on the streets, it leaves his restaurant susceptible to robbery. Because it's so quiet, um, you know, it's, it's no man's land there, so it's... it's you know, it's easy for them to break into these places and just uh, be unnoticed there. While the Flatiron has noticed an increase in break-ins since the state of emergency was issued, Toronto police say crimes have actually decreased. Our weekly statistics indicate that there is a drop in almost all major crime indicators. We believe that that can be attributed to social distancing because most of those crime indicators are crimes against people. And with the lack of people on the roads and interacting, crime will decrease. Police say that also includes break and enters and thefts. Regardless of those numbers, every division has tasked its officers with patrolling those areas that have closed businesses with the intent to prevent and detect crime. Now we're using intelligence led policing and analytics to determine where those crime indicators might be. Premier Doug Ford addressing the break and saying this is not the type of behavior we need as we deal with the crisis. We aren't that type of people. There, there might be the odd person, you know, I say the odd bad apple out there, but uh, there's no reason to be breaking in anywhere. We have enough supplies. We have the food. Uh, you might have to wait in line uh, like all of us. Do you think things would have been different if um, we didn't have the stay at home order right now? Well, definitely, definitely. And, uh, and the main thing, what I'm concerned is that, and I want to bring a little bit of awareness that, to the city that this is happening. Um, because, uh, you know, this is a great city and the last thing we want is to have this situation popping all over the place. Police are advising businesses that may worry about potential break-ins to consider removing or locking up valuable items while they remain closed during this pandemic.